Hey guys, it's Di. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time since I last came here. I think a few weeks. But there is a reason. <laughs> Maybe not the greatest reason, but there is a few reasons actually. Um, and this is a little pre-video that I'm making today. Um, it's August 20th. Um, because I actually did make a video and I was going to post a video and then all of a sudden this stupid iPhone, um, the iPhone does not compute anymore with my Microsoft and there's like this whole ordeal that I have to go through to get like pictures and videos out of it and then excuses, excuses and well not excuses, that's for real. Like it took me forever to figure out how to get my pictures out of my, uh, into my computer so I can like post and stuff. Um, which I finally did, but then also because I wasn't posting, I was kind of slacking with, you know, my eating and stuff like that. So, long story short, I've been kind of doing eh, meh, like I've been maintaining, but I've been not losing. So I'm like, this is not the plan. And my plan was for my camera not to die, but it just happened. So, see, things happen without being planned. So. Not really. The plan was for me to really document my weight loss journey and bring you guys along and, you know, yeah, I kind of use this as an excuse to kind of be like, ah, well, I can document it, so I'm not going to be as, you know, as committed. And um, and so, you know, the good thing is that I've, you know, I've been maintaining, I've been doing okay. It's just not, it's not what I'm here for. My whole purpose of starting this YouTube video again was to, um, really get back to my weight loss journey which makes me feel great and I, I honestly have not been feeling great the last few weeks um, to be honest with you it's like every day I'm like why are you not going back to it like I really feel the greatest when I'm like really like whole food plant based um, strictly like SOS free which is no salt sugar or oil added I really truly feel great it's just um, it's just like you know when you know that you can't have something and like that's all you want and then you have it and you're like ugh no so then you go the next day you're like oh well by one more day and one more day and one more day one more day added to you know 30 days <laughs> or 25 days not too bad um but anyway so yeah so i'm gonna keep this short and just say that now that i can download everything and and really put together the videos that i really want which is like I want to show you guys what I eat throughout the day, um, you know, little tricks that I have when I go out or things like that, which I'm going to be traveling a lot in the next few months, like next week. <laughs> but my plan is to be uh, absolutely on protocol, which I know I can, which I've done it. So um, I know I can be done. So I'm totally committed now that, you know, I have, I have you guys hopefully still following me and rooting me on. and. Um, Let's do this, okay? So, um, you know, today is August 20th, like I said, 130 days, 35 days, sorry, 135 days until December, uh, January 1st, 2020. And so, perfect. Let's do this properly. Let's do a proper weight loss journey um, the next few months. And um, every week, like I said, I'm going to be just coming in here and kind of giving you guys an update on um my weight loss progress and you know what i ate in a week kind of thing and yeah i think that's that sounds good that feels good um i may do like extra things here or there if i want to do like a recipe video like i'll do an extra video or maybe i'll put it in depending i don't want it to be too long but um at least i'm definitely committed to do it to give you guys an update once a week and i think that's going to help me stay um committed for myself and stay on track and none of this like BS of like you know eating impossible burgers like Friday Saturday and Sunday because they're so good they are so good guys like I can't wait for Anthony to try it I want to tell him to do like the the taste test I don't I didn't do the taste test I just had the impossible burger because it's delicious minus mayo because it's not it's not vegan with mayo they don't put cheese which is great um, you just have to say no mayo but anyways that's that that's not, that's not none of none of this. That's not a part of my whole food plan based SOS free because it's definitely not SOS free. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put after this the video that I taped because my plan was to. Oh, my mascara is running. Okay, great. Um, my plan was to continue and then just I couldn't because I couldn't keep 
taping and showing you guys what I wanted to, so I stopped. But uh, now that I can, I'm going to in, in, insert a couple of things that's from my birthday weekend that I did, which it was pretty good. Like I said, I've been maintaining. It's not like I just ruined the tile wall and went crazy, you know? Um, so I, there's a few good things and good tips uh, and good places that I went there and um, when I went to Maui for my birthday. So I'm going to put in the clip, and um, I will see you guys next week with the one week update progress from the beginning of today, August 20th. So I will see you guys next week. Hello everyone, it's Di, and it's uh, been about a week since I did my last video, so I wanna be at least consistently doing one video a week. Um, that's like my minimum. Uh, last week I made two, which is great. This week was a little different, and I'll tell you why in a second, but um, so I'm just making uh, one one recap for last week um since there's some things to share but not much um again i'll tell you in a second um so uh yeah let's start the first part of the recap of the week which was the first four or five days which was like monday through friday were amazing um i was like like i said i was like in the zone um i was just like really thankfully Thankfully, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, I had frozen um, meals already um, that I had left from before, like they were there for like a month, um, but frozen meals are great. So um, I had some meals that I um, had frozen, so they, I had kind of the same thing every day for lunch, but it was perfect for, you know, for work. That's actually like the hardest thing, I think, um, my lunch um, meals, because um, I have to prep them before I go to work and I don't have a lot of time in the morning so that just saved my my afternoons for that week so I'm gonna see if I can post some um, pictures and talk about um, some of the foods so this is cauliflower and squash rice with lentil dal also free and this is at work I made brown rice and broccoli with my own pesto sauce and this is my favorite dish, honestly, it's Brussels sprouts and potatoes air fryer. This was a brown rice and mushroom carrot pineapple stir fry that I ate at work. This is my milkshake minus the milk, strawberry and oat milk drink. And this is sweet potatoes made in the ovens and air fried cauliflower. So that was the week, Monday through Friday. And then Friday was actually my birthday. <laughs> I turned 36 years old. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else to say about that. <laughs> um, I feel good about it, you know? It's an eight. It's a number, you know? Age is a number. And it's all about how you feel and how you go about life and, you know, how, you know, how you continue living your life and if you um, continue doing things that you know, keep you active, keep you young, keep you excited. Um, who cares how old you are? Um, I do get that I look younger for my age, for sure. So I kind of like it because the more my number, the age number goes up, the more people are like, what? you're what? You know, so I don't mind it. <laughs> but I do feel it sometimes. Um, like, um, like, you know, when we go out, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> but uh but yeah so uh, it was my birthday and we went to Maui for the weekend which was just 20 minute plane right away and um so here oh god for my birthday this is the second time I've eaten here and I knew it was gonna be amazing but they they like even went above and beyond last time so we um we were staying at um another hotel but this one hotel um, it's the Westin at Kanapali in Maui. Oh my God, the chef there, it is like, I love her so much. I don't, I met her last time I was there. Um, I, so what I do when I go to restaurants that are like kind of fancy, I actually call them and tell them like my diet, dietary restrictions. And I, you know, I called um, the, the restaurant the first time and I told them, you know, I am um, vegan and I actually don't do oil or salt, which I don't think I've actually talked about that um, here yet. So yeah, I do um, vegan SOS free, which is uh, free of salt, added salt, um, oil and sugar. And so 
last time I called, um, the bartender actually answered and took notes. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'll pass it along. I'm sure they'll be able to do something. And then when I got there, the chef had prepared a dish off the menu just for me. Like, prepped all the vegetables and roasted them all without oil, like, just for me. Like, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, obviously, when we went back there, I went back to that restaurant because I was like, like for my birthday, I want to make sure that it's perfect. And they actually like printed a whole menu just for me. And um, I'm going to put a picture here. So again, guys, this is literally what the chef made for me for my birthday. They created an entire menu and which an entree and dessert just for me that day made all SOS free. It was just like, it made my day. Like last time she created the dish, but this time they actually wrote a menu and printed it out and it was just like it made it made everything <laughs> and oh my god so it was kind of similar to the last time the only thing is that they put something spicy like some curry that was spicy and it was i don't do spicy food so it was a little too spicy for for my taste but i literally ate it all still which shows you how much i loved it it was so so good um and then since they knew it was my birthday they also made a little dessert oh which was so good. So that wasn't um, uh, oil free because they added peanut butter and stuff, but um, I still ate it. It's my birthday, you know? So that, that was just an amazing experience. And it was just like, you know, it takes a little bit more time just to like call and explain and, you know, find out and do some research, but it's so worth it um, because I felt great. And I felt also, not only did I feel great when I was eating it, I also felt special because they, you know, they took the time to do that. And um, it was amazing. Uh, so that was Friday, and then I'm just gonna sum up the rest of the weekend in the whole it's my birthday mentality. And um, yeah, I did. I just went up to the diet, went like off the window and out of the door and to another island. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just um, I was like, whatever. I um, I wanna there's a vegan restaurant that I wanted to try, so we went there and I had a burger, and the whole weekend was like that. And so, yeah, I have not gone back to, like, my SOS-free diet program since my birthday. And it's Thursday <laughs> after last week. And so, and the reason is, so, one was that mentality that I would just, like, talk myself out of, like, oh, well, it's my birthday. And then getting back on it, it was kind of hard. And not only that, I was there the whole weekend, and when I came back on Monday, all the frozen meals that I had were gone and I didn't have to, time to prep and so this this specific way of eating if you don't have food prepped it is almost like impossible to do it just because you really 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 need to like food prep um, to be successful and I kind of set myself up for, for failure and so that's where we are now <laughs> but but um, I'm not giving up it was just, you know, a little week, like, so Monday through Friday, I was great, so Saturday through this Thursday, I was not so good, so it's just like a week, like a blip week, and I'm calling it my birthday whatever week, and um, and tomorrow, I'm, I already went shopping, and I'm going to do some prep tonight, and um, however, <laughs> I'm actually tomorrow going back to Maui, but I'm actually going to do it the right way, like I did it um when I was doing my eight-week program, um, that I was doing the same SOS vegan-free diet, um, not diet, I'm calling it more like a lifestyle, um, I was able to eat perfectly, like, on, like, what I call it, protocol, um, because that's what I used to call ACG protocol, so my, that's how my brain works, um, and I'm gonna, like, do it the right way, and hopefully I'm gonna vlog it so that I can actually share it, um, because I'm not as used to vlogging when I'm out and about anymore like I used to be so I'm going to make it my um, my goal this trip to do that and because this weekend I'm, I'm not going to Maui just for the weekend I'm actually going there for the weekend because I'm going there for work for the week after so from Monday through Friday, uh, Thursday I'm gonna be in Maui working so me and my husband are gonna go for the weekend enjoy the weekend and then I'm gonna stay so I'm gonna have a whole weekend getaway and then work trip to show you guys what I usually do um, right <laughs> not like this time but again 
It's my birthday. I think I get I, I can I can I can give myself this one, okay? Uh, but no more, no more. Uh, and that's about it. Um, that's my little update. I just wanted to just you know um, come on and uh, at least show you part of it that was good, and then the other part that was not so good. But you know, um, I'm not I'm not here in a competition. Position. I'm here. This is my life, and this is like my progress. And I'm not gonna lie and say I was perfect because um, I wasn't, and I would slide it myself, and that's just dumb. So it is what it is, and just gonna continue keeping on. And um, I'm excited to go to Maui tomorrow. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to do some meal prep and actually going to take some um, meal prepped already with me because the hotel that I'm, we're going doesn't have like anything, um, like a stove or anything. So it's going to be a different type of trip. But sometimes I go to hotels that have kitchens or sometimes I stay at, at Airbnbs and they have kitchens. And this time, it just has a little refrigerator so at least I can make what I'm planning to make is like some quinoa salad that I can have um, and then buy some fruits and stuff when I'm there and Whole Foods and um, we'll take it from there so we'll see we'll see what next week comes uh, but uh yeah so this week was it was um it was what it was it was good it was bad it was fun it was uh, interesting um, so yeah, I hope you um, learn from my mistakes. Uh, like, do not not plan, <laughs> and make sure that you know when you go traveling, you make sure that when you come back, you have a plan and a system in place because um, that was, I think, the biggest thing that uh, that happened that was made me be unsuccessful this week was just coming back on Sunday night at 10 p.m. and then waking up and being like, uh, I don't know what to do, and then. Then the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So, okay, that's it. Um, well, guys, and I will uh, see you guys in Maui for the next video. So, all the pictures from here on are um, from my the day of my birthday and my birthday weekend. So, this was a cute vegan store that we went to for my birthday lunch with my coworkers, and um, they didn't have anything SOS free. So, the chef was able to actually just make. Um, uh, a dish for me with a lot of yummy stuff and these are all my friends that are troopers <laughs> none of them are vegan but they all came and um, we had a good time they actually enjoyed everything they ate here's a little picture of the beautiful view of the restaurant and this is actually the dish that the chef created for my birthday like I said insane um, it had um, it was curried, so it was a little spicy, but it was curried vegetables, all roasted without any oil or salt, and on a bed of quinoa, and it had um, beet puree. Um, again, all SOS free. It was so good. And then she made um, a dessert, which was a key, um, chia seed peanut butter pudding um, with um, bananas, which has, was actually really good. Anthony actually ate a lot of it. Um, so it was just adorable just to make my special birthday uh, a little bit more special. The next day we actually stayed at the Ritz and I was so surprised that they actually had a vegan menu. Um, like I was blown away. Everything was vegan, which was like amazing. And so they actually gave me a fruit plate for my birthday for free. So that was my breakfast. And then I ordered from the menu the Beyond Burger, which honestly I didn't like. I ate like half of it. Um, there's nothing like the Impossible Burger. Yes, so I may try it one more time, but so far my experience was not good. Then we went to an awesome, another restaurant by the beach and um, had a few drinks because all alcohol um, that is clear is vegan. <laughs> So at the restaurant, I saw the menu and it said the vegetarian dish, which was gnocchi and it had vegetables and it had cheese. So I figured, wait, I can take the cheese out and it'll be vegan, right? I order it and right before they bring it, my brain just kind of like realizes that, oh yeah, shit, how do they um, find gnocchi? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I realized that it's not vegan. But uh, I, it was already made, so I just ate it. I'm like, what an idiot. So yeah, gnocchi is not vegan, by the way. But it was good, but not vegan. So 
just that anyone else that has that brain fart that I did, <laughs> um, don't order it. <laughs> this is another cute vegan restaurant that I went to. Um, I actually ordered a burger to go made out of taro, which was actually really delicious. Um, everything was vegan and they made their own, their own buns and everything and I had it to go and this is how they made it to go How adorable is that? Um, they like wrapped it in a banana leaf and it was like a little present. It was adorable. It was very sustainable type of store. Awesome. Really loved it There you go It's really good <laughs> And I don't know if you recognize it, but this is the same restaurant that I went to on my birthday. This is the weekend after where we came back to Maui for another weekend. <laughs> and uh, of course, I went to the same restaurant and the chef made uh, a similar dish, but he had um, quinoa, the same beet puree. It's on the right um, of this picture. And he had also roasted um, squash. It was delicious. So then also um, I mentioned that I made my own um, salad before I left um, Oahu and I brought it all the way um, to Maui. So I actually made my own quinoa salad with tomatoes and lemon and um, parsley and cilantro and I ate that throughout the week. So it was awesome just to know that I, I could have that um, that was SOS free no matter where I went. The For lunches we actually went almost every day to down to earth. They had um, raw, raw like quinoa cooked, not raw, cooked but um it was not not no salt or oil added which was amazing and then they they had this um black bean chili that was vegan as you can see it did have salt but it had no oil and it was so so good i had it like three days in a row and here are a few pictures of just the trip um i hope you guys like this video i know it was all over the place but at least i hope that um you got something out of it and um like i said i will see you guys next week with um, the true first check-in. Aloha.